and welcome to Daily Austin Music. I'm Pastor Colin McDonald, and this is Damn Art, Daily Austin Music album review time. And today we're taking a listen to the Ghost Feathers EP, Less Emotions. Now the first track, Leg Lock, starts off with a common lo-fi theme, a nice melody, and a hooky guitar part. The first thing I notice is that the drums are not over J. Dillard, meaning that they're still close to what we would call on the grid, but still have a nice feel to them. The keys are kind of a generic lo-fi pad sound and piano chords played to a loop. The bass stood out to me on the first track with a groove that matched the drums in a way that manifested a groove that might not have otherwise been there from the program drums. If this was an instrumental, you might see it on a channel with an anime chick studying next to a cat, but with the vocals, it's probably gonna be relegated to the odd Spotify lo-fi study playlist. The second track, Lost My Head, starts off much more lo-fi kitty genre, sounding with a properly J. Dilla drum loop. This one kind of took me to a Radiohead lo-fi cover by a band, and I didn't hate it at all. The vocals aren't oversung and much more dry than I thought I would like, but it sits well in the mix. These are sung with confidence and an interesting choice of sounds to accompany, accompany the melody. The third track, La Joey, kind of had me thinking of an early 90s rom-com or a kids movie intro. A nice drone shot over a sleepy town just outside of LA, maybe, you know, Three Ninjas or Romy and Michelle. I'm starting to see a pattern though here with the highly affected guitar parts mirroring the melody. It's used to great effect, if not overdone a bit, three songs into a five song EP. The bridge section introduced a new drum feel for a few measures which brought my attention back to the underlying bed. And this is the least lo-fi one so far. Still with a strong melody and guitar playing, it kind of takes it a little farther down a Martin Offler cover band road. The fourth track, Lo-Fi Love Affair, sounded a lot like a lo-fi soundtrack you'd see on 45 different playlists on Spotify. The bass was nice, again with the over-affected guitar, and this one had a bit of an oversung vocal compared to the others, but the feeling comes across well. This one waited for the chorus to dilla up the drums, leaving the verses more straight, and I really liked that, it was different. The last track, Let It, started off with a very low rider vibe, which I absolutely loved, and then back into the 80s guitar-driven riffy kind of thing that kind of defines this little EP. A nice melody here again and a tighter rhythm section than any of the others with an almost punk or grunge type of chorus in this. It's, it, this has got to be the most eclectic song on the record. It seems they really found the sound that they were searching for with this one. Overall, I dug it, man. Lo-fi with vocals is always a tricky proposition and Ghost Feather pulled it off nicely. This is an EP I would mow the lawn to or maybe even rearrange my bookshelf to. I'm interested to see what's next for Ghost Feather as I think there is something there, there. All right, that's it for Damn Art. Please buy and share and stream this music wherever you can. And don't forget, do more, better, faster. Thank you so much for watching. I love you, and there's nothing you can do about it.